Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. So many of us are eagerly awaiting one specific upgrade today in FC24. It is Fantasy FC Upgrade Day, and we need to outline all the upgrades that are coming, and especially if you have some of those cards that you potentially need to sell. Plus, the Icon Player Pick, yes, the massive one that we had on Sunday, the best one we've had so far this game is refreshing today. Is that going to move the market? What other birthday content can we look forward to? All that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly, actually, before we go into the content from yesterday, there is a new update. If you're like trying to log on to the game right now, if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out and noticing that the servers are down, EA Help, not EA FIFA Direct, but EA Help tweeted that Ultimate Team is going to be going down um, at 6 a.m. UTC for six to seven hours. It takes that long to fix some of the small things that are wrong with like the objectives and uh, whatever else they've been tweeting about recently. I don't know. That's just a joke. But um, hopefully that's adding in some of the new players like Luis Suarez, man. Add him into Ultimate Team, please, EA, so that we can have his foot birthday. I don't know. That's what I'm hoping for. But there is some maintenance that is happening. And uh, yeah, that's why the game might be down if you're trying to log on. But you can't. Now, let's go over yesterday's content. It was a pretty quiet day, to be completely honest. We did have the foot birthday Openda. It is as advertised one SBC five star weak foot and one SBC five star skills. The upgrade, I mean, this dynamic is cold. The shushing dynamic cold, right? But only plus one in like almost all of his different stats on the card. I think he got plus three passing from his card that was released in October or even actually technically the last day of September is when his Road to the Knockouts card was released. And look how small this upgrade is, guys. Plus one everywhere except for passing plus three. He does have quick step play style, which is good. Power header, which to me, how useful is power header on a five foot ten uh, player who doesn't have aerial plus sure if he wins headers in the box he has a good chance of scoring them with that play style and regardless of that finesse is dope technical and rapid and of course the quick step plus is dope it's not a bad card it's not even coming in at a crazy price i think it's just kind of like the quadrato sbc it's one that's just like yeah he's gonna be decent in game but is it really worth your fodder? Unless you're a Leipzig fan, maybe you're a Belgian, you want to get this card done, or you just want to try out a new striker and craft him. It's probably not an SBC that too many are doing. It's only 36% upvoted. Um, the five-star skill moves one is upvoted more than the weak foot, of course, just because for a player like this, Openda, five-star skills would probably be more fun. I wish they would have given him like 90 dribbling and, and 90 shooting and maybe like if they would have given him technical plus or Trivella plus instead of the uh, the power header, then that might have been more of a crazy card. But that is the, our player SBC from yesterday. Now we did add that 88 plus icon. No, no, the 88 plus icon that's coming back today. This one came out yesterday. The 88 plus gamble pick, right? Gamble Tuesdays is literally a thing nowadays in this game. They just take this same player pick and either add an option in the choice, like one of three or one of four, or they add a rating. And yesterday they added a rating. It was 87 plus that expired yesterday, and the new one that came out was 88 plus. I mean, guys, I think there's better player SBCs right now to be crafting than doing this. But if you're in it for a gamble player pick, you could, of course, go ahead and get yourself that. It is pretty cheap to do. Um, an 84 and 85 rated squad with and inform and because of it being a pretty quiet day yesterday i was hoping to see more action on the market and i was able to take some good trades out of things that happened and moved but the best trades that i had were actually on mostly out of packs cards i bought a blanc um late monday night sold it into tuesday for like 45k profit this is the rodrigo didn't get as much from as i thought i was going to get i bought this a lot for 480 so a small flip there sold some of my road to the final cards in the hype of the games and then my best trade yesterday was definitely sasha bowie picked up three of these on monday night for 260 to 270 sold all of them for right around 330 that was a really good trade i still have the jota and i just bought a kdb for 1.7 million coins on a snipe and i bought a zyre emery for 800k just like a lazy listing them right now very high above where they're actually going to sell on the market um just lazy listing them there but uh really the market yesterday was a pretty quiet place some of the foot birthdays are down further like i've been using benzema and he's too much fun to sell but his price is going down um and a lot of you know a lot of the foot birthdays are either in the same kind of range or they are down like the de bruyne one of the reasons i bought him was like wow he sold so many times yesterday above 1.8 mil um and he is down right now at 1.8 hoping that i can get close to 1.9 for this for like a nice flip 
But, you know, a lot of the markets just kind of ho-hum. And if you're going to trade out of pack specials is probably the best place to trade. Now, they did run lightning rounds yesterday. They did. And um, I was hoping to see a bit of a better market rise after the ri or the foot champs rewards were paid out, especially with the foot birthday cards. That didn't really happen, right? The Benzema is now down at like 935. I'm still using the one that I bought for 1.1 mil because he's such a fun card. And I'm making way more coins otherwise that it's going to work out and I'll be a positive in the end. Um, but they did drop the lightning rounds yesterday, guys. And you know, fodder still went up, right? It's the fact that right now we were talking about this yesterday on stream. And of course, we mentioned it in the video yesterday too. the fact that most of us, especially if you're trying to do the 82 times 20, I'm running out of 85s and 86s to put into the 82 times 20 and even 84s. And that's exactly what is going up on the market with that 8220 being a popular SBC that people want to do to try to pack the foot birthday cards and to craft everything else on the menus. Uh, they are going and buying these cards, 85, six, 84s, 5s, and 6s. Like 85s went up a 1,000 coins a card yesterday. Crazy rise. They were 6 point, even 3K earlier in the day, but right at content, they were about 6.4 to 5. They went all the way up to almost 8,000 coins, and these cards are flying because that is the SBC that is creating the most demand right now. Probably the Gamble player pick yesterday helped those out too, but those cards are up a lot and really weren't affected at all by the lightning rounds. Now you're... 89s, your 90s, they are a little bit low again. Uh, 38K for the golds, right? And 25K for the 89 rated golds, 17K for the 88s. I know they were 15K at one point, so they're not down like as much. Um, but yeah, I think today with the icon pick refreshing will be your time to see maybe the 88s, 89s, and 90s rise back up a little bit because it was this SBC on Sunday that made these cards rise up. Remember, these were um, actually on Saturday, Courtois was 38,000 coins. And then on Sunday, with the icon, he went up to about 42 to 43K with that SBC coming out. So if you have high rated fodder, I think that's kind of your time to sell it today if you want to get out of it. Fodder right now just, I mean, it's that lower tier that moved the best this week. And I think that's going to be the movement this week. The higher tier, I know it's really, really low, but we just need more SBCs to make it go up and continue to go up. And maybe the second week of foot birthday does bring that. But I think for the rest of this week, fodder's not going to do anything too crazy. So with that being said, let's move into what is happening today, right? There is one card getting upgraded today. Wednesdays have become in the last couple of weeks, a very exciting day for upgrades to the fantasy FC cards, right? Last week, Werner got a plus two, went to 91 rated, looking absolutely cracked. He's getting an upgrade today, but it's not his upgrade that we're looking forward to. It is Rolfo plus three incoming for Rolfo. And this is about to be the card. I tweeted it out yesterday. I said, get ready to see these two cards in Weekend League with the brand new upgraded Joao Felix, maybe evolved like I'm working on evolving my Joao Felix. And then also, this is probably what Rolfo's card is going to look like today. Adding together all three of her upgrades. This is what her card should look like. And that just looks insane, man. Okay, that just looks absolutely crazy for her card. Now, the question is, when are these upgrades going to be taking place? Every single week on Wednesday, he has been very consistent with these upgrades, which is not something that there always are. But they have been with these Fantasy FC upgrades every Wednesday. Three hours before content is the time where the upgrades have been going live. So just kind of make note of whatever time content is for you. Three hours before that should be the time that we see the upgrades go live again today. Delict is going to a 92 overall as an upgrade for him as well. Uh, Pedro Porto, no upgrade. Werner is going to a 92. He did have his third appearance, so he's going to go up to a 92 rated card. If you're figuring out um, what is going to be upgraded for your certain card today and what upgrades they have hit, foot.gg, this tracker is the best place to go, in my opinion. Um, you can see, like, Delict has got... He got a plus two last time, right? But he has three green checkboxes here. So he's hit three of the upgrade criteria. So that means he's going to get a plus one today, go to a 92. And he has no games remaining, right? So that means his card is done upgrading. Werner and Spur, well, Werner has one game remaining. And they have to score four goals for him to go to a 92. So that's not looking too great for Werner. They, of course, frauded in that last match versus Fulham. Other cards are getting upgraded today. Aspas is going to a 91. I'll talk about him in a second. Chiesa, some... Higher tier, more expensive cards getting upgrades today. Chiesa, Yaya Toure, Chloe Kelly is getting an upgrade today. Gunduan might be one of the more hyped cards getting an upgrade today too. Barca upgrades, OP. 
Gundawan with the win over the weekend is going to go to a 91 rated card. Um, and he's not even up that much from where he was in the weekend. He was like 230 uh, and now he's up at like 260. So that's up a little bit. His card, I'm slightly interested. If you imagine a plus two on this, we're probably going 86 pace. Maybe they give him plus three shooting. I doubt it, but maybe. We're go we'll say 89 shooting, 92 pass, 92 dribble, and then maybe 83 defense and 83 physical. They'll probably give plus threes in a couple of those stat categories, right, for a plus two upgrade. That's not a bad looking card. There might be some people that want to use uh, Gundawan and Rolfo and maybe Felix together. So watch that card today. He's one that maybe could go up a little bit, but... As I take a look at almost all of these cards that are getting upgraded today, guys, I'm telling you, it is better to sell a lot of these cards if they don't have many upgrades left. That is the key. If they don't have many upgrades left, it is better to sell. I'm even taking the selling route with a guy like Iago Aspas because what we've seen recently is a card like his, who, who technically still does a ch have a chance to upgrade, okay? So there is a chance for him. Does he have a chance? Hold on. Before I confirm that... Um, Okay, yeah, technically he's done upgrading because I don't think uh, I don't think that they're going to score six goals in their last league match. So he's basically done upgrading as an 89 rated card. He's going to go to a 91 today. But you're like, Nate, 91s are 52 uh, or 3,000 coins, right? Why would you sell his card if he's going to go to 91 rated? Here's why. He's not actually going to go to 51 or 52K. We have Politano. And especially Lavelle, these cards, the special cards that are in packs, but specifically Politano, is 6,000 coins cheaper than the golds of the 90 rated cards. I'm worried that same thing is going to happen with this Iago Aspas. He is very, very invested in. So I just took the cash at 45,000 coins. I bought these at 30K. I'm happy with that money. I hate to say it as well, but I feel like there's even a potential of this happening to Marmouche. Marmouche is getting an upgrade today as well, and he does have some more upgrades coming for him. So there is maybe some more hold time on this if you really believe that uh, that Marmouche goes to a, uh, what is it, a, is a 90, could he go to a 91? I forget what Marmouche is going to. Is it on the list here? Marmouche is going to a 90 today. He's going to a 90. And actually, I don't know if it's that great for him to go to a 91. It says one game left with five goals. That will be a lot. Guys, again, I would just take the safe route here and sell on the hype. I think he's like 30K or right around there. And he's going to a 90. And how much further up are 90 rated cards like we just looked at, right? They're like 31. Politano's 32K. And so many people are invested in this sort of card. I would sell because once again, the key thing for these cards and when they're being live and selling them is, is you want to sell when they're hyped for the upgrades and also they still have some upgrades left because once there's no upgrades left they drop or bond's getting a big upgrade today too but again same thing for him no more upgrades are left after this card the only thing going for this card after today's upgrades is he's gonna kind of look cracked he's gonna go to a 91 rated card and he's, he's gonna look pretty good so yeah, there could be a little bit of genuine demand for a card like this or a bond, but for the rest of them that are fodder, especially because, guys, these cards were so supplied and so many people invested in them when they were in packs, I would take the safe route and sell beforehand on literally all of them, especially the fodder ones, even though it doesn't kind of make sense, unless there's a bunch of upgrades still to go and there's games left. Like, I know a couple of the cards, like maybe if you have Julie P., Right, She's played two, and she's one game away, potentially from a clean sheet, a win, and then that last appearance. She should be could be going to a 90-rated card, and that would be one to watch. She's still 20,000 coins. In, in that case, she's going to go up probably 10K if she hits all three of that criteria. So for that, you'd hold. Um, but the others, I would probably say you sell uh, just to be safe. So that's kind of my warning there. And also those cards just have not been doing that great recently with foot birthday being out and everything like that. And fodder, especially for the ones that were being invested in for fodder dropping so low, I would take the safe route, man. I know it's not what a lot of you want to hear, but I would take the safe route for sure on basically all of those. Now, what else is happening today on Wednesday? We already mentioned it, but the icon player pick refresh, right? Really, today's content is new player SBC, this SBC refreshing, and the upgrades. And of course, games and rivals. I got to get some games going to rivals today because we all are trying to get these new and improved rewards. I would love to cruise my way through Division 5. I played two games yesterday, one, one, lost one, so I got to get cooking, but I gotta. I would love to cruise my way through Div Division 5 into Division 4 to get the bigger upgrades. That is going to be a huge gameplay grind today. It's going to be a decent day to be flipping cards because, again, people know those brand new Rivals rewards are out, 
and people want to play Rivals and get those rewards tomorrow at Rivals Rewards time frame. So um, with that being said, an SBC that is going to refresh today, I already mentioned, is the 88 plus icon player pick. And we kind of already mentioned this as well. Do it if you want to craft it. It's it's tough to craft. Like I have packed enough cards to do two squads in a couple days. I haven't put in a crazy menu grind, um, but it's hard right now. I feel like it's not as easy to keep those 86s, 7s, 8s around because I feel like I'm putting those into exchanges to fund more player picks to try to keep it moving. And I end up just spinning my wheels and not collecting too much fodder. So I don't know. The menus are craftable at this point, but not as good as last week, I think. But a lot of people still want to get this SBC done. So watch the fodder today. And of course, good luck if you're opening it because there have been a lot of team of the year Zolas pulled from those, but then also a lot of really bad pulls too. So let's look at today's content with our SBC player, right? We are on the last, second to last, technically, SBC coming out as a part of the week one goodies list that EA provided to us. Amine Harit, which actually today's SBC has some hype to it because he's already a five-star skiller, which means he is going to get a five-star weak foot boost and he's going to be a five-star, five-star card. League One Marseille Lynx. Um, you know, you think about Lynx to this card, you've got Abamyang, you have Klaus, you have Ren Lodi. I know some of you guys maybe just put um, Abamyang into the Evo. Uh, the newest Evo that came out, right? The secret stuff. Evo, this card does look pretty good. He would go rapid plus and technical plus. That's a pretty sick card. So if you have this card, or if you're thinking about evolving this card, then maybe the SBC for Harit today could be good for you. Hopefully this one is cheap. And guys, I think this card actually has a potential to be cheap and also pretty meta as well. You look at his build, five foot 11, average and lean. He's medium, medium. We need high, medium for sure. But we need the five star, five star, which he should get. He's already got technical flair and tricks there. So he's got technical, which is cold. Maybe they give him like quick step and um, technical as his play style pluses. That would be cool. And I hope it's cheap. I can see an SBC like this being like 100, 150K um, and actually moving the market a bit if it is a five star, five star card, which it should be, and a good price and a good stat upgrade. That's, that's the key. The good stat upgrade needs a shooting boost because he's a left mid, left wing, needs pace, needs dribbling, passing, and shooting for it to be a solid card. I do believe you might want to check your club, and we don't talk about this stuff often, but you might want to check your club. I think Moroccan managers are up because people are knowing that this SBC is incoming. Let me check this. At one point, I thought I heard that they were a thousand coins. Okay, just kidding. They're two hundred coins right now. Uh, but I would say technically, you might want to might want to watch those because they could go up if the Harid SBC is really good. It's not often we talk about managers, but and I know a lot of people have icons in their team for chemistry, so it's not that deep. But you know, stuff like that does move. So if those go up today, make sure you sell those as the SBC comes out, or maybe even in the hype. Now, last couple things. Wednesdays always bring a team of the week, right? Valverde is coming with a team of the week card. There are a few leaks as of right now. This is probably the biggest name leak right there. We have Vitinha coming as well. And by the way, this Valverde should have double play style plus. Uh, Federico Valverde. Does his 90 have a double play style plus? Right, it does. It's rapid plus and relentless plus. So, I'm guessing this Inform Valverde is also going to be 90 rated. I just hope they give him different playstyle pluses than his 90 rated card from the Team of Your Honorable Mentions and maybe give him a four star, four star. That could make this card at least somewhat interesting for those of us that would be interested in it. He's getting a Team of the Week. Vitinha is getting a Team of the Week. Musiala is coming in Team of the Week as well. Those are the leaked names we have right now. Probably get more of those today and then a couple other things to uh close up shop on today's video get you guys up to date with the news there was a new hero car design added to the code and evidently it's called heroes record breaker um that car design is crazy like that's an insane car design right there in my opinion i love how like the triangle kind of like i don't know it's like breaking the glass almost so it's, it's sick i think that car design is cold um, the write up from the leaker below it, ASY says for now it's added as a record breaker. FC mobile had also a promo with similar design names as record breaker. Of course, EA can turn this design into another promo, but everything indicates a record breaker. So I don't know what a record breaker hero would look like or what hero is breaking records since all heroes are retired and not playing anymore. I don't know. I'm not sure how this works or is this just some sort of like one-off hero release 
I mean, anything could be true about this. Or this could be a promo design for something that is coming after this. Like, I don't know, it's like Trophy Titans Heroes or something. You know what I mean? Like, it could be a promo that's coming after Foot Birthday 2. And the card design has just been added to the code already. I don't know. That one's a weird one to me. But I like that card design. And more heroes... Cool. I'm in for it. So there's that. And also the official account that tweets about the winners of the League One Player of the Month has posted that Pierre Le Melu has won the Player of the Month for February. So he should be getting an SBC. EA didn't give us a content tweet this week of like, hey, you know, this SBC is coming out this week. We didn't get one of those, right? No look-ins and insights to what could be going on in this game. But I would say um, Pierre Le Melu would probably get his SBC next week because the uh, other League One Player of the Month SBC, Terrier, still has um, a week left on it. So I'd imagine that this would be next week. Is he getting an upgrade today? He is. He's going to an 89 rated card, Le Melu is. So um, yeah, maybe his Player of the Month would be 88 or 89 rated as well. I don't think that'd be a crazy SBC, but just so that you know that has been leaked and that will be something that is upcoming soon. So yeah, guys, probably going to be a middle type hype content day today for sure like the icon pick coming back is definitely hype um but like even yesterday i think the sbc is going to have to try to carry today i just don't know how that hurry it's going to look and how much hype there's going to be for his card but i hope there is some decent hype i'm going to go try this kdb right now with uh kdb and benzema from foot birthday that's going to be a fun game to try those cards out but i'm going to go do that play a couple games rivals and uh yeah guys have a great wednesday i will see you guys in the twitch stream today if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new See you guys in the, in the stream today. Peace out.